Hey, bon appétit. So tonight, I am making scallops. It's going to be served on a bed of rice. And it would be helpful if I use the mitt. There you go. And then I made this beautiful sauce that is a version of a cookie Saint-Jacques Provencial, which is a southern French uh, dish for scallops. Except I definitely changed it. Um, I added sweet peppers, I added garlic, I added shallots. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful sauce. So check out my video. I guarantee it, it's delicious and you'll love it. And it'll be done in under 20 minutes. Easy meal, it'll impress anybody. Bon appétit. So my ingredients tonight are going to be sea scallops. And I got these beautiful sea scallops. And I got about, oh my gosh, about 10 of them. And I got a shallot. I got a garlic clove. I got my sweet peppers, nice yellow ones. Got some salt, brown pepper, uh, actually coarse black pepper. I got parsley from my garden. And I got these beautiful leeks from the farmer's market. You'll need bread, so I recommend a nice baguette. And also I will be doing a, a bed of rice. And I'm using wild rice. Just a couple of wild rice. And I'm gonna, I've been making some vegetable broth. And I added vegetable broth, broth into my um, saucer for the rice. So this is one cup of rice, and I'm doing two cups of water with, um, well, not water, um, vegetable stock. And I'll show you how to put all this together, and let's get started. So my leeks here, I cut the ends off of it, and I peeled it, and I washed it. But leeks have a tendency to get some dirt inside them. So a good practice is cut the end. And I'm using a different cutting board because I just, just in case there's a bunch of dirt in there. But anyways, I'm going to cut in half and then I'm going to clean it. And if you see here, that I don't want. It's dirty. But I will uh, take some of these off, the ones that are damaged. And I'm going to keep some green, mostly white. But look at that. That looks nice and clean. And I will do that to the rest of these. And I will simply, well, I can do it now. Just, I'm going to thinly slice these. And I'm going to put them aside. And something that's kind of, I find, makes things a little easier. But I'm going to have a little color in it, so I'm keeping it green. And of course, the whole leaf is edible. Just gets a little, I guess, tough if you use the other one. But this is handy, by the way. And it's probably too small, but eh, for these purposes, right now, I'm just going to put that in there. And I'll do the rest of those. Now my garlic, uh, this is a spring, spring garlic that I got from the farmer's market. Uh, it's just a little more mild, but if you don't have this, that's okay. Um, you can just uh, use a regular clove of garlic that you get from your grocery store. So I'm going to peel that. And I want to just chop that. I crushed it a little bit, if you noticed. And I'm just going to chop that. And that's good. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take this guy. And 
always do this uh, safely. Use the blade, sharp part away from you. There we go. Got it all in there. Now I got my shallot. And I'm gonna cut that. And you know, chefs have different ways of doing this. I simply do it this way. I never went to culinary school. But uh, you know. I figured out things and you know what works best for me. And uh yeah. Just love to cook and experiment with different things. Now this guy oh, sticking on me. Um this guy I'm gonna also slice it. And I was fingers in and take your time there's no hurry you see the chefs going like 100 miles an hour that's because they're do this every day and they're pros now I'm putting it with my garlic because I'm going to drop that at the same time and I'm going to do the other one Now, on the side here, if you notice, I got my scallops, and they're in a towel. I'm going to turn these, because I need those as dry as possible. And I'm going to get another paper towel and put it on top of there in a second. I'm just going to... That looks a little too big, so I just did a little chopping on it. You know, don't be afraid to experiment, do modify, start with small changes. So, you know what you're doing. I forget everything, so I kind of glad I do some videos and it reminds me what I've done or not, or I take notes. Now I got my sweet peppers and uh. I'm going to cut the end of that, I'm going to split it, and there's really not any seeds in there. I'm going to take what seeds are out, to the side, and I'll shoot it there. Okay. And then I'm going to slice this as well. And I'm going to do uh, probably three or four of these. Eh, probably three, actually. That's how you want it to look. Nice thin slices. And that's going to be as a garnishment to the scallops. And the beautiful sauce I'm going to make. Just going to be a parsley sauce. There we go. That looks good. So off camera, I'll finish doing these other ones, and then the parsley. Um, you know, the fastest way I think is to remove the stems. And by the way, these stems save them. If you do like a rotisserie chicken, or even a baked chicken, or. Um, Cornish hens or anything, um, you can stick it in the cavity and it gives it a wonderful flavor. And this I'm just going to drop my parsley. And I'm going to need, oh, probably like two or three tablespoons of parsley. So I'm going to always chop a little more than you think you need. And then I'm going to keep some for garnishment. Make sure that 
scallops is nice and dry. And I'll be back. Okay. So I got my pipe broth here already on my French plate. Had it in the center. Now I'm ready to add a little, actually, I'm gonna add a little white wine vinegar into this. To my one cup really light broth. Just a splash of vinegar. I'm gonna throw my rice in there. And cover it. Get it out of the way. Put it on the side. So on the French plate from La Cournon, the center is the hottest. So if I bring this broth to the center, you'll see that immediately, almost immediately, it'll come to a boil. Um, so it's in direct heat. So here it's less hot. Here it's less hot. So this rice that needs to cook slowly and simmer is perfect there. Now I'm going to start it's going to be for my scallops, a nonstick uh, uh, pan, and then I am using this for my vegetables. So I'm going to throw, and actually I'm just going to go right here with that, and uh, put a bit of olive oil in there. And it's nice and hot, and then it's also on medium, medium low. Um, the French plate. And look at that, how that quickly cooks. And I'm just going to mix this together. There we go. Alright. Now, I have everything ready on the side here that I showed you before. So I got my garlic and my shallots sliced, my garlic chopped and crushed. There we go. And I'm going to throw this in. about a minute or two or something like this. Now it's very important that you do not brown these shallots and this garlic. So you see it's already starting to caramelize there. Which is wonderful. Now I'm ready to add my leeks. I'm not even starting those scallops yet. Because the scallops only take well, about 40 seconds on each side. So that'll be the last thing I do. So I am going to get my vegetables here. Ready? Well, 
can. So we'll put just a light amount of pepper in there. Now, we should use white pepper because we're doing a white sauce that we're going to make with this. But, eh, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so that's looking nice. Now I want this to slowly cook. So I'm going to bring it uh, to the side here. And if you notice it, it almost instantly calms down. Now, this is my new stove, so I'm still getting used to it. But uh, I would say about right there. But it's very easy to bring in and out. Hot, cool, just keep it warm actually. Medium here, it'll still cook. All right. Now that that's doing that, I want to give it a few minutes doing that. And then we are going to add some white wine and Hint of butter, maybe. We'll see how it goes, and then some cream. You'll see how it comes together. So if you had this on a regular burner, you would have it on the lowest setting, and then you would, you know, have to adjust the flame to bring it up. So this has been cooking for oh, a minute or two. I want to bring it back up, so I don't have to adjust the heat. I just move the pan, and that's the beauty of this. And now what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a splash of white wine. Spread that in. Can you see how fast that, that heats back up? Okay. Uh, about five minutes. It's looking like that. So what I want to do now, I'm adding all that parsley, and this dish is inspired um, from a Paul Siad, what they call Paul Siad Cookie Sanjay, but I've changed it so much that, eh, let's just say it's inspired by it. In the meantime, I'm going to put my burner on for my scallops. And just warm up that plate. Because then you get it nice and warm. I'm liking that. Okay. I'm liking how that looks. Now I'm ready to add my cream. So I'm using a heavy whipping cream. I'm bring this to the side. Do not put it on direct heat when you add the cream. And about a quarter. Up. And I'm gonna mix that in there. Put the rice a little more in the middle there. Beautiful. I'm gonna add my broth. Oh. And be careful. Things do get hot on the Add my broth in there now. Should have probably added it before I did that. Added the cream. That's okay. Mix that in. Beautiful. I'm gonna do. Now, if you notice, my there's like a hot spot there. So it's occasionally you just turn your your plate. It'll keep keep that warm. Now I'll bring this back to a simmer in a few minutes, but I am gonna show you what I'm doing here. Nice and dry. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my sea salt. And just drop it on there. 
tightly. Now roll pepper. And I like pepper, so I'm not shy about it. You like less? Use less. Alright, this is ready to go now. Chef on TV showed me how to do this. I'm gonna go clockwise position. And I need to move quickly. And you go clockwise so you know where you started. Which ones to turn back first. I'm not cooperating. <laughs> yeah, there. So I'm keeping an eye on the time. Right in the middle there. All right, not long. Check on that. Yeah. All right. Can you see that cover? Okay. Yeah. Maybe a minute longer there. Oh, not a minute. Total co cooking time for the scalp should be 90 seconds. So, start turning. Okay, now we're going to season a little more, a little pepper. A little more salt. And the cream is coming. And if you notice, my timer is at 16 minutes now, so I know my rice is about done. And that's how you do it. That's how you time it. Okay, I'm going to add a little lemon juice on that. And I cut them like this, in quarters, to make it quick and easy to just do it a little lemon juice on there. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell it. That's okay, I'm taking it off the heat. And I'm just gonna keep it warm at the very corner of my um, my French plate or plaque. And I'm just gonna let that cool a little bit. And actually I'm gonna turn all those scallops over and add a little more lemon juice. Look how beautiful that is. Did I turn that on? Yeah. Alright, that's why you do it clockwise. <laughs> you remember what you're doing. Alright, well, so make sure they have it on both sides. Beautiful. And I'm gonna add a little more lemon. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let me put you back on the stand. And we're about to plate this. But before I do, I want to bring this closer, not all the way into the, the center, because I don't want to 
make it a hot spot there. But I am gonna bring this up in temperature. My timer is telling me 19 minutes. So my rice should be ready soon. I'll maybe get a little more in the center. I'm just gonna stir it. Basically, there's my sauce with the leeks, sweet peppers, garlic, parsley, my version of cookie sencha conancian, except they would never, definitely not put cream. Um, they do like a parsley sauce with it. And this is a Steve version of it. Keep all that warm. Check on my rice. See how that's doing? Uh, maybe a very close, maybe a minute. That's okay. Here. This is the beauty. This this gives you time. Uh, because of the French plate. I can uh Keep things warm until my whole dinner is done. But there you go. Um, we'll come back when we're ready to plate. Okay, so I got my rice and putting it on my plates. Now I'm gonna take my beautiful sauce, give it one more stir. My sous chef's in my feet. Her name's Zoe. And I'm just gonna lightly put that top of the rice. Do it the same here. There we go. And I just wanna get all that wonderful cream and vegetables, that leek in there. All right, now take my scallops and as a reminder, turn off your French plate. There we go. And look at these beautiful scallops. I'm just going to drop them right there. Uh, you can, more people, you can add more scallops, but this is service for two, and this is a whole meal. And, oh, I guess one person's going to get chipped, one scallop. <laughs> My husband gets the extra scallop. For being the camera. Now, um, what you want to do is just a little garnishment. You can put it right on the parsley if you want, or I'm just going to put it on the corners here. I'm going to take my last piece of lemon and just a small squeeze on the scallops and now I'm just going to put a touch of parmesan over that and you're going to do this quickly because the scallop will get cold and there you have it thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you like this, please subscribe and like, and check out my other videos. I have a bunch of videos. Check out my channel. Thank you so much.